particularly when you work in a knowledge-based job that requires lots of thinking and not much manual work. You may receive notifications from many places. That could be messaging tools such as your email inbox, Slack, Telegram, Discord, WhatsApp, and all these tools. And you may also use a project management system or a CRM, for example, depending on your role, where you get notified as well. And in this video, we're looking specifically at notifications in Notion, which have been updated a bit in terms of the user interface and how you can manage them in your Notion workspace. This is called the inbox and it is accessible from the left sidebar menu. It used to be called updates and it was also on the top left of the sidebar menu. And the principles behind the inbox and overall working asynchronously and managing messaging is a broader one and quite a big problem for some people because all the notifications that you get are scattered around and you may feel like you're joining in them and do not know exactly how to process them. You may be using your email manager to keep track of your tasks and and obligations. Or you may have a task management tool where you store your to-do items. So in this video, we're looking at the technicalities of Notion Inbox and also starting from the principles of inbox management and what you can do, practically speaking, on a daily basis to make sure that you capture your obligations, that you work asynchronously, effectively, that you keep other people updated and that you can reduce the anxiety that often might come out of managing notifications and requests from many different people and stakeholders with different interests in mind without needing to signal your seeming value as a worker working long hours during the day, but actually being high integrity and responsible for your obligations and requests. And as part of this, if you use Notion, then also using Notion Inbox. The first thing to know about Notion Inbox is that it is workspace specific. That means that you can't get all your notifications in one single Notion workspace. Instead, you will see notifications in your inbox on each workspace separately. And you will see an aggregated number of all the notifications you have across all workspaces at the top left corner right here in the Notion workspace as a butcher. You can see that right now I have one unread notification in my inbox and it is in the current workspace that I am, which is this one called Simone. So if I open my inbox, I will see here first that I can also lock the sidebar open while having the inbox open as well alongside, or I can close the sidebar and keep the inbox open. In here, I can filter notifications. I can see all of them unread and read. I can filter only for the unread notifications in the inbox, which I'm currently doing. I can see all the archived notifications or only the workspace updates because fundamentally there are different kinds of notifications in Notion. You can get mentioned in a comment, for example. Someone could reply to you in a comment, which is another comment-based notification. You could also get mentioned in the body of a page, which in that case is also a notification as part of the inbox. Or you could be mentioned in a person type property, for example, when someone assigns you a task and that is another type of notification that will land in your Notion inbox. In addition to those, sometimes you get workspace updates that are notifications about activity in the workspace and that includes, for example, updates to a page that you're following or to a database that you created and those updates can be your choice and you can follow specific pages or unfollow them as you wish. We're going to see that later. For now, let's focus on the unread notifications in here and on the right hand side you would see more actions. That is, you can mark all of the notifications as read in or you can archive the unread notifications to clean up the inbox. You can also toggle on panel mode and when you do this you will see that the inbox becomes sticky and the content on the right hand side that is in your Notion workspace that you navigate through resizes accordingly to fit the panel mode of the inbox so that you can see information more accurately. And finally you can also close the inbox by clicking on this button or using the shortcut control or command alt u. Whenever you get a notification you can see that depending on the notification type you will have a link to the page in Notion where that notification happened and you will have a description of the notification. If it is a comment, you will see the comment that you're being notified about. If it is an assigned property to a task, for example, you will see that task and who assigned it to you. Or in this case, for this example notification that I have, it could be a reminder as part of the wiki to verify a page again because it's been some times since you verified it and the next verification date happens to be today. And you can watch this video regarding the Notion wiki to learn more about how this works. So in here, I can open the page directly by clicking on the page name. And this will take me to that page that I'm looking at. You can see that's part of the wiki and I need to review this. Now, when I get a notification in the inbox, whether it be in Notion, in the email, Slack or whatever tool it is, there is a bit of a fundamental question that is, how do you process that notification? Because let's say that I am working on something else. Maybe I've taken a bit of a break or doing some admin work as an intentional block of time. And so I want to process all the notifications that I get, whether it be Notion, 
email or whatever other messaging tool or project management tool. So what do I do with this? Because reviewing this document might require some time. So that is a task, an obligation for me in and of itself. I think one way to approach this is to use the Notion inbox as a task manager itself, where maybe I mark this as unread so that I can still see the notification that has been unattended on the left side of my menu and I can get back to it later when I have time to process emails and take action on them. This can be a default approach, maybe an easy approach to the matter. One potential issue with this is that the inbox is not made to be really a task manager in itself and so processing tasks from here might not be the best idea. Secondarily, the notifications that you get in your inbox might require you to change context and switch context a lot because one notification might come from a task as part of a specific project. Another one might be a personal notification for a different project and so all these content switching might drain your batteries a lot. So one principle that you might follow when it comes to receiving notifications regardless of where they come from is to capture that information quickly in a task manager for processing later and then you might have a block of time in your calendar to go through all these admin tasks or you might have a way to block a specific date in your task manager and maybe in your calendar to ensure that you tackle that task when you intend to and that will depend on the urgency and importance of that task. So this idea of quick capturing is a key idea of getting things done for example by David Allen that is a very popular productivity slash psychology book for knowledge workers and it is also at the basis of the para method for example the second brain where you capture information in that case not action items but more content based knowledge to then process it later and making sure that it is integrated within your system taking notes on it and maybe setting reminders or follow-up actions to expand on that topic learn more about it or create content around the knowledge that you say oftentimes obligations come from third parties it could be your colleagues your partners your clients your family members or whoever it is and in that case there is that added layer of possible anxiety for you to want to attend to those requests as soon as possible because you do not want to let those people down and especially if you work remotely you might feel a sense of guilt if you're not responsive and constantly on slack or on email whatever tool you use for communications because otherwise you might feel like you are lagging behind or you are missing out on important decision making or you may also feel that managers or your colleagues might think that you are not working if you're not responsive to messages and that is a very relevant issue in the knowledge work and asynchronous work world and a fundamental issue that companies such as Levels or Basecamp or GitHub have been pondering deeply and they've also shared very valuable resources online about how to think about this and how to solve the tension between doing the work without needing to signal that you're doing the work and one approach that Levels in particular and the team at Levels this is also public information that you can find and then I can link in the description of this video they suggest that all notifications are processed in your task manager and that you make sure that whenever someone requests you something that is a notification that you get and that creates an obligation or an action item on your side you save it somewhere so that you are sure that you process it and you acknowledge the receipt of that obligation so that you let the other person know that the board is in your court so that that other person is aware that they can release their attention and thinking about that task for a while until the ball gets back to their court that is when you complete that task and you let them know that you've done it that you made progress and so on and so this becomes a bit like a dance or a ping pong match between you and the requester of the task to make sure that both of you reduce the anxiety of thinking about the task that takes cognitive load and can be a source of distraction during the day when you are trying to get things done so in short practically speaking let's say i'm in notion i get this notification there are two things i can do one is let's say the first step and the other one might be more advanced and the second stage of your knowledge management pathway and the first one is that if this requires an action item and I know I can quickly create that action item in my task manager and let's say that I want to create that manually that is totally fine it doesn't take more than one minute if you have a setup such as this one but you might have an action item button where you can quickly create a task it might be your dashboard it might be your task database directly it might be your notion form that I reviewed in a previous video but in this case I can just add a new action item to fill open the page I can write what it is that I need to get done maybe I can also link to that doc by using at in this case I'm not going to do it and then I will do status that is to do by default the SNA will be me and I want to set a due date which I can also include a time and a due date if I like to make sure that this gets done when needed and that will then flow into a dedicated view of tasks that I might have in the dashboard where I can process them properly or it could also be from the main database particularly if you are using it for your personal tasks and the second option is to process that notification more automatically so that if you receive that notification or you could set an automation that looks at the content in your wiki 
key that needs to view it matches the date if the date is today and the task hasn't been done yet then you can create a task automatically for yourself and that's specifically for the wiki use case but then you can extend that to other models and tools and obligations within your areas of work in particular when it comes to notion pages or databases you can manage what kind of notifications you want to receive and you can do that from the top right corner of any notion page or database where you have view or updates so the clock icon right here and here you can decide what do you want to get notified about is it all comments or only replies and mentions to that page and when you go on the three dots at the top right corner you can find the same exact menu on the notify me option right here when you open a specific page in a database or within notion in that menu there is an additional option that is all updates and in all the comments and all the property changes that happen on the notion page inside the database will trigger a notification for you in the notion inbox or you can do all comments or only replies and mentions and finally when you go to settings and members there is a dedicated section for my notifications and that's where you can manage whether you want mobile push notifications if you want to receive slack notifications whenever you get a inbox notification in notion and if you also want to get email notifications about the activity in the workspace and digests and that concludes the overview of the recently refreshed notion inbox how you can manage notifications in Notion and more broadly, how you may think about managing requests and notifications coming from very different tools that might create anxiety, if not processed and stored in a system that you trust fully to make sure that you don't forget about your obligations because that will make a difference, especially if you work asynchronously and if you are a knowledge worker, the degree to which you can organize your information and store it properly and follow up with people to make sure that they know once you have completed their request and that you are acknowledge the requests every time they come can make a difference in the long term because it builds trust between you and the other party. It builds integrity within you and integrity is one of the two aspects that can make a difference in the quality of the capital that you gain as a knowledge worker which then can increase your status within your company, your industry or whatever field you're in. Hence your income and overall possibly your life satisfaction because you know that you have a system that you can trust and when you switch off of work, you switch off of work completely because you know that you are not forgetting anything. Everything is stored and when you start working, you carry on with the items that you have in your to-do list with a lighter sense of responsibility, with a significant less degree of anxiety. See you in the next one.